250 km ride from Bangalore, covered in just under 5 hours, brought us to the Manjarabad region of Sakleshpur. Our destination, Harley Estate, a 550-acre oasis of gurgling waterfalls, gushing streams, placid lakes and lush green cover as far as the eyes could see, included a thriving coffee plantation and a unique home experience called Golden Wood that allowed guests to not only savour some delicious Mallard cuisine but also gain an insight into life on the coffee estate. We tasted delicacies that in addition to the staples of rice, meat and vegetables also included an exotic preparation made from red ants. That's right, red ants. But we couldn't leave without a coffee 101 and a tasting of some fine artisanal coffee. Hi Kripal, how are you doing? Doing fine. Doing good? Doing fine. We had a great day today. Yeah, you went, we went and visited the estate. That's right. We walked around the estate. It's good to kind of walk yes. once take, in a while. Take in the fresh air, scenery. That's right. Right. And awesome. I've seen so much coffee out yeah. there on the estate. And all I the can't... work that, all the back work that happened. That's right. Yeah. So I can't wait to get into your coffee lab. Perfect. Thank you so much for being here and welcome to our coffee lab. Thank you. This is parchment coffee, which is post pulping and it's put out in the drying yards, uh -huh. which is also on our estate. Okay. And it's manually raked over days okay. um, till it reaches a certain moisture level that we are happy with. So it's going to form a husk, a dry husk outside. And in, once you remove the husk, that's when you find your... The bean. Yeah, the green beans inside. Uh, okay. So this, this happens at a curing facility. And the green beans are then sorted. So this whole array that we see here is Arabica. Alright, so and you've got various grades. Yeah, various right. grades. So it's sorted according to size. All right, so so the, biggest, the biggest size is okay. the most expensive, most uh, sought after coffee. So, so now the colour that I see is all of them are, you know, lightest sort of Correct. So green. So these are before roasting. Correct, obviously. before roasting. And even in this we sort it out saying you look for the darker green beans. Okay. So if it's slightly bleached, you don't use them. Again, that's called as a defect. Oh, okay. So to that extent, it's again sorted manually by people right. at the curing works. And then so on that's a our, lot of coffee beans. That's, to a, sort. that's a lot of sorting. And so these are the roast. So the, these are the roast profiles. Okay. So we have um, light, medium, and dark. Okay. And we also have different various grind sizes. All right. So each equipment that we use. So our focus is home brewing and home uh, making people into home baristas. Mm -hmm. And so when you talk about different brewing equipment, mm. each of them have uh, different grind sizes that we look okay. at. After this nifty coffee 101, it was time to taste classic coffee's newest line of artisanal coffees. So, you know, I see there are different coffees here I mean, yes. with interesting labels. So you've got a classic blaze, you've got yes. a classic matinee, sundowner. And an after and a, hours. All right. So what's what's the story here? So different coffees for different times of the day. All right. And I don't think that's something that's been done at least in the Indian market right now. This is the first time that I've come across yes. something like this. Uh, and um, so the whole point of this range was for new coffee drinkers. Okay. And now with like, you know, the whole coffee drinking boom that mm. started, um, the point of it is everyone wants to try, but Correct. they're a little intimidated about, okay, what do I have? Right. Where do I start? Right. So start we're starting with here. Blaze, so that's morning. All and right. so the names itself, you know, tells you about the different types of the different times of the day. So, so we have Blaze would be Blaze strong. morning, okay. it's strong, it's to get you going, right. uh, start your day with. It's got flavors of nut, dark cocoa. And um, even when we paired it, we paired it with things that you would typically have. So I'm going to taste the so. classic blaze. This is definitely the kind of coffee that you need. That's your first 
So wake me up. Yeah, oh. wake me up. And so you have the banana bread with that. And just the banana adds really well with the nutty sort of dark cocoa flavors that are there. It rounds off on the palate. Yeah. yeah. Right? So when you just have this, it's kind of, you know, in a good sense. It's, a, it's sharp it's a in a good assault, sense, yeah. <laughs> right? On your senses. When you have this and then you go back to it, I think it kind of mellows the, uh, you know, the impact of the coffee right. on the palate. Right. You know, I like the fact that your packs have these it's a very helpful kind of a pointer. Right? Exactly. So you have your morning blend, night blend, afternoon blend written on your pack. If All you right. look at the back, it tells you what it's best had with, whether it's with milk or black. Oh, okay. What the best equipment you could brew it with. So that's a French press. The next one you're going to be trying is a French press. So that's a matinee? That's the matinee. So I'm going to taste some of that. This is the someone. complete opposite of the blaze Correct. on the palette. Yeah, yeah. You know, to those who say coffee is coffee. Right. You know, this is revelation. I like the fact that it's not very heavy on the palate. It's so not. This is the sort of coffee that you probably sip through the afternoon and not worry about acidity yep. at the end of the day. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's the point of it. So, and it's also not cumbersome to make. It's a French press, one of the easiest equipments to use. To use. So, that's a dark chocolate with cherry. In it, you could eat like nice fresh berries as well. Actually, one of my favorite combinations. I oh. really like it. Slightly tart. Correct. Sort of a note. Fruity, Fruity, tart, yeah. Wow. So, next is sundown. All right. So, as the name connotes, it's for the evening. You're done with your day, whether it's at work, at home, mm. whatever it might be. Mm. And you're looking, you're hungry, you're looking to fill your stomach up again. So a snack and a nice filter coffee. All right. So these two are filter coffees, the morning blend and the evening, evening sundown yeah. and glaze. It's definitely got more body. Correct, it right? does. It's kind of, it, it gives you, it fills your mouth, yeah. right? That's yeah. what this does. Exactly. So and do a Ruskin coffee. Yes, do a Ruskin coffee. <laughs> Try the after hours, which is the night blend. This is With, a caramel. Yeah, so the caramel cheesecake. And you don't realize it till you have that cream with the coffee and it really adds well, goes well with it. You know the coffee mm -hmm. and the cheesecake mm -hmm. have in a sense given up their individuality yeah. and have become one. Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful combination. Right. So is this available in stores? I mean, uh, yes. I mean we're, we're of course privileged to come here to your estate, right. walk through the plantation, look at the coffee growing and right. taste this with you. Right. But is this available? Uh, it is. Okay. Slowly on shelf it's okay. being available because like I said, it's just been a couple of weeks since we launched. We are available in All some right. of the gourmet stores All right. as well as online on our own websites, just classic coffees. All right. um, so we have our own e-commerce store and we deliver all over India all right. and um, so yeah so nice fresh ground coffee that you need is at your doorstep anytime that you require excellent for those watching out there I think this is definitely something that you should look for I think it's coffee in a whole new avatar thank you very much for having us Thanks, over so and I'm glad you thank you so much for the wonderful tasting it's truly been You're a revelation and I'm going to look out for these coffees and Done. taste some more we're excited Done. thank you very much Thank you. The sun was setting over Sakleshpur and after this very heady coffee experience, I decided to take the bike out for a spin to catch a bit more of the estate on my last day here. It was also nice to get on the bike after a full 24 hours and soak in the nippy mountain air. I set out to catch the evening skies for some quiet contemplation and well, more coffee. It's been an amazing two days here at Hale Estate, experiencing the hospitality of Goldenwood. The food's been delicious, and as expected, the coffee has been great too. We've had the opportunity to meet some truly wonderful people and experience the warmth of their sincere hospitality here. But more than anything, we live with an amazing insight, a wonderful insight into the way of life on a coffee plantation. We've savored it and we hope you've enjoyed the ride too. 
Do catch the next episode of Gourmet Biker. Until then, stay safe and goodbye.